Hey everyone, good morning and happy Monday. Here is your Monday Medical Minute um, from Jen, yes. So uh, there's been a lot of controversy going on lately, again, about fluoride in our water. Um, as you all know, there's efforts across our country to take it out. I think it's important to really know what the medicine shows. And that is that the amount of fluoride that is in our water to help prevent tooth decay and cavities is minimal and has been shown through numerous studies to have no negative impacts on neurologic, brain, IQ, the body in any way. The benefit, though, is that it decreases your uh, risk of cavities and improves your overall dental health. Now, why is that important? Some may say, ah, oh, so my kids are going to have more cavities. We can address it. Well, cavities are no fun, number one, and not all kids have access to good dental care to be able to treat them. But number two, your dental health actually impacts your entire body's health. Um, more dental cavities are the result of more bacteria being in your mouth and causing uh, more systemic inflammation throughout your body. And that can lead to increased risks for stroke, heart disease, respiratory disease, even diabetes. So um, dental health actually is overall body health. And I hope you'll join me in realizing that just like so many things in our environment, too much of anything is a bad thing, right? Too much calcium can be life-threatening, right? But the right amount of calcium is critical for our health, for our, our body to work, and for our bones to be healthy. Similarly, too much fluoride at really, really, really extreme levels would probably not be good for our body. But at the amount that we put it in our current water system, it is actually 100% safe, um, not at that risk, and actually helps our teeth and ultimately helps our bodies. All right. Take care. Have a great Monday.